and welcome to Feathercast, the voice of the Apache Software Foundation. And today I'm very pleased to have with me Yannick Pacek, who is part of the Apache Airflow project. Now, this is the second time that you've been on the show, I think. Uh, I talked to you two years ago in April about, um, about Airflow. But we're going to talk about something different this time. Um, for those listening or watching, um, I also serve as the as the uh, vice president of events at Apache, and so I'm very interested in what Yarek has to say about upcoming Airflow events. So, thank you so much for making time for this. Yeah, the, the, the pleasure the pleasure is all mine, really. The, I'm I'm happy to share what we what we are doing in Airflow Summit because this is this is what we are talking about. So. So like that's uh, yeah, and that's the right the right place to, to to speak about it and with you as a host. <laughs> yeah. So one of the things that you've wrestled with is something that I also have wrestled with, and that's this balance between in person and virtual events. They both have huge benefits. They both have uh, drawbacks, and particularly where we are now, the past two years, this balance has shifted. I would love to hear your thoughts about what you're doing for the upcoming summit and why. Okay, so just to give a little bit of context, so we started uh, thinking about Airflow Summit just before the pandemic struck, and we were preparing an on-site event with 300 people in Mountain View, in, uh, and then in the, it was supposed to be in like April or May, and in February it turned out that it's probably not going to happen. And we made a tough decision at that time, like really tough. Okay, uh, we don't want to uh, let down or all our users or people who attendees who wanted to come and the speakers. So let's turn it into an online event. Uh, and and we have had completely no experience before that with running the such an event. We we like did all have, of us like all of us, <laughs> yeah. but we didn't have experience with running on on site events. Like for example, I I was running. A, like Mobile Central Europe, uh, that was a different life, let's say, but it was like 600 people uh, on site in Warsaw, in Poland, and that was fantastic series of events, five years, uh, and I loved the on site part, the, the in person yeah. part. And was, so, so we knew that it's gonna, we we're gonna miss it, uh, but we wanted to make mo most of it, and we tried to make it so, like in person event, to make it as accessible as possible for everyone all over the world so we ended up and and that was a little bit of surprise to us that we ended up with six thousand people attending the event the first edition from all over all continents all over the world uh everyone could, could participate because we we realized how we can reach out to so many more people who couldn't mm -hmm. afford to come even or or you didn't have time or could watch it like in like next day or something like that uh, the, the second edition, then we didn't think much and we couldn't think much because the, there was a middle of the pandemic. So it was 10,000 people. Uh, and so it was even more. Wow. And, you know, like the whole week, uh, we, we made it in the way that it was actually possible to watch all the events and, and split it into between time zones. Uh, we involved people from like Asia and and uh, Europe and North America and we made it so that it was possible for everyone to attend live during those uh, their time zone and uh, and and that was fantastic that was like a really great experience the second one uh, but now the problem is that at this moment one is so uh, eager to go on a in person event like if i've been to several i spoke to a few events and i know how different it is but also those events were hybrid, uh, so-called, and some people set up and diff tried different things. And I particularly didn't like the hybrid combination where people were both online and on, uh, like some people were on, in a single central place and lots of people were watching because there was completely no connection between those two events. This was like two completely different events. So, um, so we came up with an idea which we are going to implement in May this year for Airflow Summit third edition, where we tried to combine the online and on-site present, but in a different way, in much more, I would say, in much more Apache way, in a way, uh, in terms of like being totally distributed. We don't have a single central location where things happen. So we have 12 currently, 12 cities and, and countries all over the world where 
people will be able to gather uh, together and meet in person uh, and have this this this, this in-person experience but also those will be uh, part of the, the global event so they will be during one week uh, in two time zone slots uh, throughout the week some of them will be shared between different between two different locations and we will have speakers on those events speaking there live to the people which uh, you know is something that you come for uh, for this kind of on-site event to meet somebody to meet even like the, the known people or speakers who you want to to to, to speak to personally uh, and those events will be streamed all over the world to other events those that will be happening at the same time but also to online people who will only be able to participate online so for um, so this this is this is the kind of twist on, on, on previous experiences, because we already did that in a way in the online event. In the online mm -hmm. event, we had these local events all over the places, but they were all streaming from homes. Uh, London London hosted the event, but really the host was just doing that from home and everyone was, uh, okay. was, was not really in person there. But now we think, okay, let's do it this way that they will, the people will be able to come in, in one place and meet. There is always somebody who is kind of known or, or in like known in the community or commuter or somebody who spoke before, somebody who would, you would like to come and see in person. So all yeah. those events all over the like that, at least one person, but probably more, there will be at least one talk from that place, maybe more. Uh, and and you will be able to experience that that life, but also be able to take part in the, in the in the global event from home, continuing before and after those days as well. So that's the that's the kind of idea we have that uh, to to make the most of both of those two completely different worlds. I would say this sounds truly amazing, but as an event planner, there's just there's two things that immediately come to mind. There is the the financial cost of doing that, and there's the volunteer cost of doing that. Um, how has your community responded? Have they have they stepped up to to make this happen uh, and volunteer on those local uh, those local events? Uh, very much so. So the, uh, the from the very beginning was that we involved those local local communities. We have the local meetups uh, organizing anyway. Like those, those are people who are interested in airflow. You see them on Slack every yeah. day, or in our communication and the dev list. So we engage them, and they they did volunteer before for uh, like doing this online part, which was easier. But they already before organized those events in the, the local 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 ones before for the meetups. So for them, it's just another meetup yeah. uh, to organize. Uh, the venues are there. But we also, uh, regarding the financial and volunteer cost, we probably wouldn't be able to do that uh, just uh, with the volunteers because we are also like uh, contributing, committing. We are all very actively working on Airflow as well and other other stuff and, and daily jobs. Uh, but uh, but we we simply have uh, good sponsors who are investing in Airflow and uh, and we gathered the sponsorships. And we hired uh, a professional uh, company. That's the third time they organized all the two two online events. Uh, Software okay. Guru are event producers, and do, they do they take care about all the technicalities because of the streaming. You know, the, we are preparing uh, guidelines for all the local chapters. As we, that's the, the temporary name. We don't know how yeah. we name them eventually, but that will be like local chapters. They will have to get some guidelines uh, how to how to organize the the, the event, uh, so kind of cookbook cookbook for the for the local organizers, and they are preparing that. But they are also organizing the sponsorships, uh, and we have two types of sponsorships, and that's that's also interesting one. So we have global sponsors which are mm -hmm. appearing all the time, but we also have local sponsors, and those are uh, left to the discretion discretion of those organizers. But we also like if they approach us and somebody would like to sponsor a local event as a local sponsor, that's that's also perfectly OK. And and those local sponsors will sponsor us kind of like local the, the venues or or the, the food or whatever would be needed on the local on the local site. And they will also be able to have a local presence because this is so much important for 
for many of the sponsors from different countries who like looking for people to hire, for example, who know Airflow. Yeah? Well, that's an ideal thing to, to be at, at the local event. So, so this is a coordination and effort of multiple levels of people, volunteers, but also people who like our sponsor are, are paying for their effort, basically. Yeah. So that's uh, that's the that's the the kind of setup we have, and the one that allows us to coordinate that because you know, like twelve cities, twelve countries. Yeah, and, and that's a a really important because because we even like deliber deliberately reached out to the countries we wanted to get covered because we know a lot of people are from there who were working us. For example, and that, that that's the first time we have uh, people in uh, the the local chapter in in Brazil because we knew there were lots of people from Brazil watching our Airflow Summit, but also from, from Nigeria. So we have a, we even have committers in Nigeria and they, they are going to organize this, this, this local chapter. And this, that's the first time. But, but for us, it's, it's so important that, uh, that this is a, a kind of like joint effort of so many people eventually that, will, that that's, that's what we hope and looks like it's going to happen like that. Uh, and and the, the end effect will be a uh, created event because so many people will contribute to that. This is this is something that we I, I personally look look forward to because that's that's uh, that's something that I, I think is very important. It sounds like the best of both worlds. Um, if somebody else wanted to do a model like this, what 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 challenges are you seeing? What should we look out for that uh, that you've that you've run up against, and how have you solved that? The, the challenge is uh, to get the people who are engaged and uh, I think responsible because you don't want to rely too much on uh, on on the on uh, you know things happening like you want to delegate the the organization part uh, really uh, and uh, and and we have such people uh, from the past so this is this is something that we had to pretty much nurture for last two years uh, to, to 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 bring this community in and bring those people in uh, this might be a difficult one to get from the get go from like from today, yeah. but that's something we work on over 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 quite over time to uh, to get uh, to build this this community this, this community. And I, I a little bit un, unexpected, but uh, everything we did before for this kind of community building and building people who are participating before that it would be rather difficult. So that's that's the, the main challenge. The rest, the rest is rather straightforward, I think, in the in terms of uh, uh, like one one thing that that is important for us with Flo uh, and Apache because this is something as a PMC member I'm, I'm responsible for. So, for example, we do have, want to have some kind of um, confirmation and, and uh, maybe not approval, but the, the the right to say kind of no or just just wants to be associated with this particular sponsor because of this and this so we want to keep the, the kind of brand uh, awareness and brand uh, take care about the brand as a as a whole event up to the discretion of the of the of those of those people who organize it uh, and and we 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 like to help them uh, and and they are already professionals they are already doing that they are happy and 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 they know how to do that so so we don't have to do much and also one other challenge like with currently we don't know if it will work out everywhere local organization might break whatever problems might, might arise so uh, we also built format of the event in the way that if it happens then that one or second chapter will not work it will still be hosted by online but online by this mm -hmm. chapter and the, the the local part will not happen but the whole event will not it, it's only the local local community which will be impacted by that really this so this is this was also important to have some kind of contingency uh, and and some plan b and c and d in case things happen because it, it's like uh building in network uh redundancy into your into your conference so that's, yeah. that's a really cool idea yes yes actually actually that's that's an interesting one because yeah, yeah even if like one of one of the local chapters completely disappeared the whole event it's just That's literally. Right. Yeah. I haven't heard of anyone doing something like that. So for for yeah. us, it's a little bit of experiment. It's not something that we came up with as a oh, let's do it. It was probably three months uh, of discussions. Like every week, we talked and discussed and, and, and exchanged information, uh, you know, ideas on the on the mailing list. 
uh, we spoke I remember our, we spoke about this at the Apache Con, at the like mm -hmm. weird birds of the feather. There was a discussion like how to do that, and I took a lot of those, you know, uh, ideas and points that were raised, and we were discussing them as well later. Uh, so this is something that we came up with as a, okay, how we can bring the on-site and online experience at the same time with uh, with low risk, low cost. Uh, that that was yet another thing that that we considered like how how many people will be able to afford to bring uh, to to come to one place now and commit yeah. to that like three months in advance or four four months in, in advance probably not a lot traveling locally even if they are in a different city uh, than than we have it it will be much easier and much much less uh, you know risky to commit to uh, so so this also brings the engagement and brings the the attend attendance attendship uh, much higher, I think. So, so we, we considered all that, and and finally we came up with this uh, with this this format that we are following right now. This was really exciting, and I, I really look forward to hearing from you. You know, after the event, how it went. What are the dates of the event? It's it's twenty uh, third, twenty seventh of May, two thousand twenty two, uh, and it happens everywhere. <laughs> Of course, uh, so the twelve cities which are there, uh, uh, there are like uh, London, Warsaw, Amsterdam, uh, Lagos, Nigeria, uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil, uh, New York for East Coast, Bay Area for East Coast, uh, Melbourne, Tokyo, uh, and Bangalore, India, uh, and Tel Aviv, Israel. Uh, those are all the all the countries and uh, and and cities involved. Uh, and and yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to you know to this is all over the world really. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 May, uh, and we are at the stage that uh, very soon we will do some a little bit more marketing around that, uh, uh, and uh, you know like announcing that involving the the local chapters more, and and uh, they will also promote the event locally. Uh, yeah. So that this is also like huge benefit that we will have. Not only uh, you know the, the the central organization promoting it, but also the local uh, local promotion, which will happen. All right. Well, thank you, and and I, I wish you absolutely all the best. And it was so good to talk with you again. Okay. Thank you very much. That was that was really great to be able to talk about that. Uh,